everyone. Welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Devon follows Nate into the office at Chancellor Winters. He teasingly suggests he's checking it out while Billy is gone, and Nate insists his days of power grabs are behind him. His cousin thinks the music festival is a great idea. It was a great idea when Nate pitched it before, but the timing was wrong. They assume that Billy has turned on it just because he has it out for him. Mamie stalks in, immediately venting about Billy shooting down good ideas and trying to add the Abbott name to the company. She suggests they try grooming Chance to be their ally. That sounds like a bad idea to Devin, who likes Chance and his ideas. Talking about sides isn't helping either. Mamie is insistent that Billy doesn't belong there. He's always been a gambler at heart and is trying to get a better hand. I don't think it's fair to say that Billy is the one with power on his mind, Amanda says as she interrupts. She's honored to finally meet the famous Mamie. Devin starts fidgeting as they shake hands. The ladies laugh as Mamie calls her a spy. Mamie wants to take her drinking so she can give her a message for Jill, one that will put their battle behind them. Once the ladies exit, Devin and his cousin worry. Nate is all for keeping their eyes on Billy, but he doesn't think he's out for power. Devin thinks he wants to have it all and Mamie isn't wrong in thinking Chance could be a good ally. Nate suggests that his cousin could be the one who is an adrenaline junkie. This doesn't go over well. Stepping back, Nate says he doesn't want to fight. He thinks they just need to focus on work and let Billy self-destruct. The person they should be the most concerned about is Mamie. They bicker about that and Devin suggests they wait and see what Mamie is proposing to Jill. And it doesn't bother you that she didn't discuss it with us first. Nate asks, Chance joins Nana in the dining room of the athletic club. She still loves seeing him in a suit, knowing the only injury he's risking is a paper cut. He's liking the new job, but there's still a lot to learn. His mom senses he's missing the chief's job. Let's just say that C-suite players can be just as slippery as criminals, he says. The former cop feels like he's stuck in some kind of power play between Billy and Devon. There's a lot of resentment. He fills her in on Billy, shooting down his idea, and he can't help but feel like he's a pawn in something. His mom tells him to leave the job if he needs to. As much as she wants him behind a desk, it doesn't mean he has to stay there. Her son wonders if he can turn things to his advantage. She thought her days of worrying about him were over. Chance just wants to show he's the adult in the room and thinks he should align with Nate since he's in a similar position. Amanda and Mamie walk in and the four of them chat. Mamie says that Nate and Devin are very enthusiastic about his ideas and she can't wait to hear about them too. She thinks Nina should be proud of her handsome son. She is and Chance says this is all great for his ego. Mamie and Amanda sit at the bar. The lawyer is surprised to hear her speaking well of Chance given her grudge against Jill. Mamie says that's not a grudge but they need to have a drink before she can explain. Once they get their drinks in, Mamie explains that she's become much more focused on the family legacy lately. Amanda notes that Jill has been saying similar things. Mamie explains that it's time to undo the merger. That's the message she wants her to bring to Jill. The lawyer points out that Jill will never agree to that. It would be an enormous cost to the company and a loss of all public confidence. Acknowledging this, Mamie suggests they don't do it publicly. They draw up clear boundaries and work independently in private. It's time for them all to go back to what they do well. Shaking her head, Amanda wonders what's in this for her. Mamie insists her only agenda is protecting her family. Jill putting Billy in power created threats and doubts that have destabilized everything. Amanda can see her logic, but regardless of how she pitches it, Jill will still turn the proposal down. Chance and Nina have been watching this conversation from a distance. She wonders why the two women are clearly at odds. All this posturing is exhausting and she knows he hates it. 
Chance says the line between right and wrong has always been clear to him. As long as he sticks to his instincts, he will be fine. She guesses corporate battles are safer than shootouts. She needs him to be safe, but also to be happy. He knows when to engage and when to back away. After Manny leaves, Amanda stops by to say goodbye to them. Nana asks her to join them, and they chat about the Mamie and Jill feud.